Okay. Just leave the beard there. <coughs> now, I just want to start the video real quick with the biggest debunk ever, ever, for the globe religion. Okay, this is awesome. It'll just take about a couple minutes to do, and you'll understand it instantly. You know the sun, you see it in the sky, it uh, looks like, like it's a dot, okay? You can probably hide it with the pencil eraser on the tip of the pencil. <coughs> so, what they did was, the idiots, they're so stupidly retarded, Okay, they took, it's called small angles math. Okay, go look this up on Google or YouTube even, tons of videos. So they take the angle, so they say, okay, that's 0.52 degrees, because you measure it with the sextant, and that's 32 nautical miles wide. And then you just extrapolate the angle out, okay, to as far as you want. So it, it took a bit of deciding, the sun distance kept varying, you know, in the 1800s from 4 million to 25 to 50 to 104 million, finally settled around 93 million. So just to keep the math simple today, we're just going to say it's 100 million miles away. And when you extrapolate it out to 100 million miles, the 0.52 degrees, you get something like almost 900,000 miles wide. So we're just going to say a million miles wide. So we have a distance to size ratio of 100 to 1. Okay? That math that they use, oh yeah, see, we got math, only applies to objects that aren't lights. Done! And that's the end of the globe. See? It was that simple. So just to bring a little more details in, take your lighthouse for example, say it's one meter, the lens, okay? And well, according to how their magical shrinking sun works, it would disappear at 100 meters out, you wouldn't even see it, done. It'd be like a point, like imagine reduction ratio of, uh, my God, 32 nautical miles over a million. It's nothing. It disappears to a point. That math does not apply to lights. You could take this lighter or a candle and light it and walk away several thousand yards, okay? And you could still see it the same as if it was 10 feet in front of you, okay? There'd be hardly any difference at all. That's why, okay, when you're in the military and you're doing guard duty at night, Okay, you don't light a cigarette, ever, if you think there could be snipers in the area, right? Because they'll see you from even three, four kilometers, three kilometers for sure, okay? And you're dead, all right? Just like that. There was a video on YouTube like that. A sniper was actually doing guard duty somewhere in Europe. And he went, saw that, killed the guy. You couldn't see nothing on camera, but he shot and killed a person, came back. Yeah, hey, the guy shouldn't have lit up a cigarette. It's that simple. Okay, you could do it yourself. Take this lighter, okay? There's no flame on it right now. Can you imagine? Now I'll just put it over here. You can't hardly see the lighter anymore. <laughs> okay, imagine if I go a little further back, okay? But if I had a flame on that, you could go a kilometer back and you would still see the flame, okay? And so that instant debunk of the globe, I am surprised that I'm the first one bringing this to the table, but it's great, I'm glad to do it. Um, I got it right out of Thomas Winship's book. Yes, right out of his book, in the chapter at the end, in the appendix. And it's the guy who used to build uh, Foucault pendulums, Dr. Schepfer, who debunks them, but he does such a total debunk of the globe religion and there's a paragraph near the end of his uh, treatise talking about this stuff. 
So, and, and the Foucault, how stupid. They say it's because the earth is moving under the pendulum, but it doesn't move under planes or helicopters or anything else, only under the pendulum. Like, shut up, man, these people are retarded. Okay, so, so that was that. Totally debunked the globe right then and there. It is done, okay? The flame, the light, the candle, anything, any light, your headlights on your car. And I have some footage that I'll also add I'll make a separate piece out of this. Yeah, the magic shrinking sun. I just can't believe it. How anybody could fall for that. And how it just hasn't been brought out. You know? It's, it's so bad. I mean, it's such an obvious thing. Lights don't do that. Okay? If their sun was uh, real, I should have mentioned that, um, the whole sky would be sun. The whole entire sky would be sun, okay? Think about that. Because lights don't shrink at 100 to 1 distance to size ratio. There's no change in any light at that ratio, like when it's at a distance. So if, a light's, if the candle's 10 feet in front of you, then you move it back 50 inches. The flame isn't even an inch. So you move it back two feet, it's going to see the same exact uh, size of flame. And that was also proven on, uh, or demonstrated, not proven. We don't have nothing to prove in flat earth anymore. Okay, it's done. There's no curve. All the rest is just understanding our observations properly. That's all we're doing now. Okay, we're not proving anything. So, the one on the frozen lake. Okay. 
you see the lights, they were at different distances close to the camera and it was over eight miles. But then when you look at the footage, it looks like they're all in a row, okay? You can't tell how far any of them are, who's closer, who's further. They look the same, okay? That just proves the principle. Lights don't diminish in size in such short distances, okay? Distance to size ratio. And that's actually a huge distance to size ratio. You're talking eight miles. Those lights were small because that's thousands of times the distance of their diameters. Okay, yeah, and they weren't diminished at all. Okay, and think about that. So you've got a million mile wide sun. Okay, believe me, the whole sky would be sun in their model. Okay, and that needs to get out there. Don't hide this. Okay, I'm going to keep making videos on this till everybody starts talking about it. And F over 2 pi. Nobody is still talking about it. I'm going to assume the flat earth community just they don't understand f over 2 pi maybe come on i know you do i know you do it's so easy but i'll keep making the videos till it becomes to what till i reach you know strike the right chord and people just say yeah i can put that in my words that's so easy to explain you know and i'll have different versions of f over 2 pi it's got to be done okay this is something that has to get out there um yeah and i want to put down 10 rock solid you know obviously no curves going to be first um what i just mentioned today about the sun the magic shrinking sun that's going to be there uh the way the sun sets of course There's no way out of that, okay? It's a complete uh, orbital mechanical failure. It's a joke. That's why they got little bears on this thing. It's just a complete fraud. And let's do a second round. And that's the, oh, wait, I got it. And that's the end of the globe. Okay, that's it. Video's done. All right, so the rest, we're going to be chilling. Of course, we're going to bring up some more amazing points as usual. Uh, I'll go get the sun, maybe. It's uh, one of those disco balls. <laughs> we might as well. Let's go and show you what it is. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Woohoo! You can tell by the way I walk. 
<laughs> there it is. All right, can you hear the Bee Gees playing? Okay, that's it. Utter stupidity that you're, all these balls are floating around and you're on a ball and you're going a thousand times faster than a speeding bullet in five different directions simultaneously and you can't feel a thing. Okay, that's what you believe as a globe hugger. Okay, don't be stupid. All right, done. Okay, so now that we cleared that up, Yeah. Oh, you know what? I missed a great shot of a globe head. I have to show you this. Hang on. Look at that. It's got the little hat on and he's crying. <laughs> the sad globe clown. Oh, this is great. 
We'll see if we can do it this way so we can get a good snapshot out of it. If anybody wants to have a lovely photo, there it is right there. That's a globe head. Sad because we killed his globe. There's no such thing as a globe. Okay. Let's get some nice horizontal footage as well. The globe is dead. It died ages ago. It never existed. Oh, poor globe head. His hat's falling off. Woo. There's a happy face there. <laughs> this is great.